Tell strength them. coach, have you gained any weight or anything? Else? Yes, I have. Yes, I'm at like 202 right now. So he's been he's been doing good. Tyler says he's up to 202 pounds. Is he getting big enough for you? Well, I, as long as he can take the hits and elude the pass rush, you know, I'm okay. When that becomes a where you feel like it's impacting his his performance, you know, a lot of his strength issues is really a lot more core. Um, and it affects sometimes your ability to throw the ball down the field accurately when you're off balance. You know, that's where those big strong guys, it makes a difference. Uh, but the other area is, of course, being able to be durable, taking the hits. Have you, have you noticed the Tyler game later? Did he still look just as skinny to you? I heard he said he was 202 now. <laughs> I'm like, still little, but uh, <laughs> uh, he, he's gained a, a little bit. I think he's gained like 10 pounds maybe. But we, Tyler should be like 220. Let's let's, let's be real. But uh, I doubt that ever happen. But uh, as long as he can throw the ball around, we'll, we'll find whatever way he's at. Tyler, you talked about watching more film, getting more in the playbook. Was that a mission that you took, or you know, was it constant kind of nagging from the coaches saying, you know, hey, Tyler, you? you Come here and watch film, or how much of that initiative did you take yourself? Uh, Coach Cheney's always good to kind of not nag. I don't want to say nag and get in trouble, but kind of just chirp in my ear. But uh, try to go on there as much as possible. I have all the game film from last year at my house, so or in Gibbs, anyways. Just watch on my laptop whenever I can. So watching as much film as possible helps. Do you look at the film from the spring game, or did you try to forget about it? Oh, uh, I've looked at it. And finally looked at the North Carolina game and got a little bit of that, so that helps. What did you think of the North Carolina game? Uh, I mean, I think we could have done a little better. I mean, the outcome showed we could have done better, but uh, there's little spots where I'd like to have the ball back, make a different throw. Just overtime or other times? Other times. Overtime. Well, of course, overtime, but other times, yeah, I'd like to have the ball back. Is that one that stuck with you even if you didn't need to see film? That throw there. Oh, yeah. I could pretty much tell you the whole play. Do it. Uh, uh, play action pass, few gate out the flats. You got Gerald and Demo coming on backside. They're right to uh, number 42. I think it was Stu Student or something like that. I can't pronounce the last name. Is that yeah. something that you use, like, can you use motivation for workouts or something in the offseason to make sure that things like that aren't happening again? Uh, I just try to forget it. I mean, it's kind of hard to forget that one, but. He's got to move on. What's your sense of where he is, or maybe over the summer in, in terms of that, being a leader? I, everything that I've heard um, has been positive from that standpoint. And it starts with his level of commitment. You know, you earn the respect to be a leader to me based on your level of commitment to the program. People have a hard time respecting somebody if they don't see them committed. Uh, to doing everything they can do to, to help us win. And I think he's proving that to our team. So, again, it's work in progress. What kind of contact do you have with him or are you allowed to have with him? Yeah, I've, I've seen him. I've talked to him. We've had some discussions. How's it going? You know, how, how's school? So, I'm not a, I don't disappear for two months. It's hard, it's hard for me to. As you start the season, is there one game on the calendar that you're the most excited about? Uh, I'm excited about all of them. I'm excited for Montana. If I get to start the season, I'll start out with a win and just go out there and show everyone that we're here, here to play this year.